All right, so I had a couple of TTs on the weekend, but I've got some fresh new kit from No Pins. Here's a little video of myself unboxing some fresh kit. So I got a skin suit, which is very nice. Cheers for No Pins. I will leave the link in the description. They do have very fast things. Aero shoes as well. I'm um, sorry, over, over shoes. Um, there is my skin suit. Super happy with it. Fits me very well. Um, and has the no pins, no pocket at the back, so it's quality. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was super happy with that. Um, and it was a good skin suit, I definitely need one. So here are the, just a little quick overview of the overshoes. Fit very nicely. Um, apparently the fastest in the wind tunnel compared to all the other ones. Um, this is at the Belgian wind tunnel where Bio Racer test a lot of that stuff. Um, but yeah, feel free to check them out. Um, be sure sorry, to check them out. Um, but anyway, right, so... Uh, the main thing we're going to talk about is my last couple of TTs, how they're going, have I increased with my new skin, um, with my new skin suit, and all the rest of it. Um, so anyway, this is my first skin, my, my first TT, forty one point one kilometers an hour at 300, 304 watts. This weight average power doesn't seem to be right. Anyway, so this is my first ever TT in, the, and I hadn't really ridden my TT bike before, but it's a it's a fast course. As we'll go into the analysis, you will see you start at the top of a hill and you go down, rolling slightly but pretty flat, um, and you can see here. 304 watts, rounds and roundabouts. I don't think I took them very fast. Um, but anyway, so 41 k's an hour, it's, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's not great. Um, and uh, yeah, I was in a very, very aero kit. Um, I'll show you that at the end. Uh, the next race I had was, it was supposed to be a 25 mile time trial, so that's 40 k. Um, however, it got canceled because there was roadworks on one of the circuits. So instead it was basically out and back. Um, it was a really cold day, as you can see, three degrees, super cold and not a very fast day. Um, so I averaged 315 watts for half an hour. So you can see like my my adaption to the TT position, 315 watts. Like And also I, like, I was fresh in, um, in that one because I had a couple of days off before because I wasn't feeling great. Um, but yeah, 315 watts for half an hour. Um, and my weight is about well, five watts per kilo. Um, so it's all right. Um, I could definitely be lied to if I really needed to be, but these are flat TTs, so it doesn't really matter. Most of the races I do are flat enough that my weight doesn't matter. I'm probably 62. I mean, yeah, I'm about, I think I weigh myself as about 62 to 63 kilos. Obviously, it depends um, on the day. Uh, so, yeah, that's about five watts per kilo. Uh, but, like, if I want to, when I'm at hill climb season, I'm 60, 61, and, I, like, I still don't do that much to lose weight. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely more to be done there. But, um, anyway, it doesn't matter because it's flat. So, you can see, again... I start off way too hard for some reason, decide that I'm going to hold like 344 watts for the first, 330 watts for 10 minutes, 46, which to be honest, like I might be able to do, but it was a bit stupid. But anyway, I realized this didn't blow up. And then you can see the second half held 311 watts, 40 Ks an hour. Um, but yeah, it was a weird course. You can see here, like it doesn't look like it was that hilly, but it was like rolling enough to make it difficult. Like that's 122 meters of elevation. So if this was like a big ride, so let's say you did 100k, this would be like 600 meters of elevation. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like noticeable. Um, and then for the uni, um, they have like a team time trial. And basically we had like a trial to figure out who was going to be in the team. Um, I sort of knew I wasn't really going to be in it because I don't seem to be getting very fast times. Um, but anyway, the, the, and the guys who are um, I'm racing against are mega fast. So anyway, this TT was uh, dreadful, uh, quite simply because I got hold up for a minute. So if you can see here, um, this was, sorry, that, wait, hang on a minute. In this point here, 2 minutes 56, and then, like, yeah, I basically got held up uh, for a nice 33 seconds or whatever it was. Maybe it was a minute. I don't quite know. Seems to change. I thought it was a minute, but it might not actually be a minute, so that could be all right. Um, we'll see there. Oh, 41 seconds. So, anyway, it was a significant uh, amount of time that my time was ruined. So, yeah, about 47, yeah, about a minute more or less. Um, from where I basically couldn't do any power. So that's a bit lame, very lame. Um, so unfortunately, my time for the day was uh, rather dreadful. Um, but anyway, you can see that my average was 40.5. So when I was going for it, 39.3, this is up a slight hill. And then go to the roundabout, turn back, and we are on 315 watts, 42 kilometers an hour. So basically what I'm trying to say is that my times are very bad, but my power's actually not too bad. So there's a couple of things about that, um, and you know, obviously my position isn't you know absolutely ideal. Um, I think that's realistically where you're gonna make all your gains. I've got a skin suit now, so no complaints on that. Definitely is faster than jersey and shorts, um, so that's ideal. Overshoes I've got as well. So realistically, it's just position and wheels because my bike is aero, like it just is. So anyway, um, I'm now gonna go over to a little just picture of myself. This is me in the aero position uh, and if you any of you have any tips then please do let me know um, 
I reckon, well, my saddle height is fine. Like, I did have a little fit of this. Um, I think potentially I should get bars that come up a bit more and maybe drop the base bars a bit more and then increase the stack height, sorry, increase the sort of degree rise of the bars so that I can get my elbows lower and then my hands higher and closer to my face because that seems to be more arrow. I mean, the thing is, obviously, it's all a bit of a guess unless you actually have a wind tunnel. Um, but yeah, if you do have any tips, this was, um, I don't have any pictures of what me on the last TTs because one of them was like just a, you know, training TT and the other one was, um, they took a picture of literally every single person who raced that day apart from me. So I did mess with the bloke, but he hasn't got back to me. So anyway, we'll see if we can get it back, um, some photos, but anyway, um, yeah. So if you do have any tips, please let me know, um, because I definitely need to get faster and aero helmet is the other thing I can do. Um, but yeah, based on my speeds and like, if I had a really nice CDA, um, I'd be going way, way, way faster um, because like the power I do like ish for sure. It's not, it's not unbelievable, but it's still respectable. Um, like in that TT. So if we go back um, onto the TT from today, I mean I held three hundred and twenty-one watts, and um, that does include the bit where I basically couldn't ride. Um, but yeah, so if you look here, it's like three hundred thirty-four watts for eighteen minutes, and my best ever. No, sorry, three twenty-four watts. Sorry for eighteen minutes thirty. Um, and my best ever is 3.34. So 10 watt difference from the TT position is pretty solid. But I reckon I'm fitter than I was then. Um, but even so, like, TTs are just good fun. Um, they hurt a lot, but it's good mentally to do them. Um, and obviously, this course was, like, 800 meters too short as well. So, um, yeah, it, it, the times were slightly quicker. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you have any tips on my TT bike, then please do let me know. Um, because... I want to get faster um, and not spend too much money on it. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you do enjoy. Make sure to check out No Pins. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I'll see you in the next one.